Ryzen 3 Ryzen 3 is the entry-level chip in AMD's lineup and it's designed for people who just need the basics done right. Think of it like your starter Pokemon, not the most powerful creature, but enough to get you through the early battles. Ryzen 3 typically comes with four cores, which is enough to handle everyday tasks like browsing the internet, typing homework, video calls, Netflix, and light gaming. The problem? Some people expect Ryzen 3 to play Call of Duty at ultra settings while recording a live stream and editing videos at the same time. That's like buying a bicycle and wondering why it can't outrun a Ferrari. Ryzen 3 is not built for that, it's built for affordability and reliability. Where it shines is in budget PCs and laptops. If you're a student, an office worker, or someone who just wants a computer that doesn't freeze every time you open Chrome, Ryzen 3 is perfect. It's cheap, efficient, and way better than people give it credit for. Sure, it won't make you a pro gamer, but for everyday life, Ryzen 3 is the dependable car that just gets you to school and back. Ryzen 5 Now here's where things get interesting. Ryzen 5 is AMD's most popular CPU family, and for good reason. It's the perfect middle ground between budget and performance. With 6 to 8 cores, Ryzen 5 is strong enough for gaming, photo editing, schoolwork, streaming, and multitasking, all without costing a fortune. If Ryzen 3 is the starter car, Ryzen 5 is the upgrade with Bluetooth, leather seats, and an engine that actually makes you smile. You can play modern games at 1080p with no lag, edit videos smoothly, and even stream while gaming. It's powerful enough that most people will never feel limited, yet still affordable enough that you're not blowing your whole paycheck on one part of your PC. The best way to describe Ryzen 5 is like pizza everyone loves it, and it works in almost any situation. Whether you're a gamer, a student editing TikTok videos, or someone who wants a reliable all-rounder, Ryzen 5 has your back. It's the CPU most people should buy because it balances performance and price so well. You don't need to overthink it. Ryzen 5 is the people's champ. Ryzen 7 Ryzen 7 is where AMD says, OK, now we're serious. These chips come with 8 or more cores, which means they can handle just about anything you throw at them. This is the CPU for people who don't just play games, they record, stream, edit, and multitask like crazy. If Ryzen 5 is great for gaming, Ryzen 7 is built for gaming plus everything else at once. Imagine you're streaming Fortnite to Twitch, recording your gameplay, editing highlights after, and uploading them to YouTube all while running Discord in the background. That's where Ryzen 7 shines. It's basically the bazooka at a water balloon fight way more firepower than you need for simple tasks, but perfect when you want zero compromises. Ryzen 7 also lasts longer before feeling outdated. If you invest in one today, you'll still be fine years down the road when games and apps get more demanding. That's why content creators and serious gamers love it. If Ryzen 3 is the starter Pokemon, Ryzen 7 is the fully evolved form ready for high-stakes battles and long-term domination. Ryzen 9 Here's where we hit the absolute beast mode of desktop processors. Ryzen 9 usually comes with 12 to 16 cores, making it one of the most powerful CPUs you can buy for a consumer PC. This isn't just about gaming, it's for 8 kelvins video editing, 3D animation, scientific simulations, software development, and running multiple virtual machines at the same time. For most people, Ryzen 9 is overkill. Using it just for Minecraft or browsing Facebook is like buying a rocket ship to go grocery shopping. Cool? Yes. Necessary? No. But for professionals who actually make money with their PC, Ryzen 9 is a dream come true. More cores mean faster rendering, shorter wait times, and the ability to juggle tasks that would crash lesser CPUs. Gamers who buy Ryzen 9 just to flex are basically hiring Gordon Ramsay to cook instant noodles. Sure, he'll make it perfect, but you're wasting talent. Still, if you're a serious content creator, streamer, or professional who demands maximum power, Ryzen 9 is the undisputed boss of AMD's consumer lineup, Ryzen Pro. Now, let's switch gears. Ryzen Pro isn't about flashy gaming or massive performance numbers, it's about security, reliability, and long-term stability. These chips are made for businesses and enterprise computers, the kind your IT guy installs so you can't sneak Minecraft onto your office machine. What makes Ryzen Pro special is the extra protection. 
Features like memory encryption, secure boot, and extended support cycles make sure businesses don't get wrecked by malware or surprise software issues. Companies love them because they can install Ryzen Pro across thousands of computers and trust they'll just work for years. For regular users, Ryzen Pro might feel boring compared to Ryzen 5 or 7, but it serves a very different purpose. If Ryzen 9 is the flashy sports car, Ryzen Pro is the armored truck not designed to impress, but built to protect and keep running no matter what. So, while gamers grab Ryzen 5 seconds and creators grab Ryzen 7 seconds, businesses grab Ryzen Pro because stability is worth more than raw speed. You might not own one at home, but chances are you've typed an essay or filed taxes on a Ryzen Pro without even realizing it. Ryzen Threadripper Just the name alone, Threadripper, sounds like it belongs to a WWE wrestler or a metal band, and honestly, it lives up to the hype. Threadripper is AMD's workstation CPU line, built for people who look at Ryzen 9 and say, that's cute, but I need more. We're talking about CPUs with 24, 32, even 64 cores. That's not a typo, 64 cores in one processor. Threadripper is built for professionals doing insanely heavy work. 3D animators, engineers, scientists, video editors handling Hollywood-level projects, and more. These chips are so powerful, they don't even fit in regular motherboards. They need their own TRX-40 or WRX-80 boards, which look more like spaceship control panels than PC parts. Cooling them isn't easy either, you're basically strapping a car radiator to your CPU. Is it overkill for gaming? Absolutely. But for people who actually need it, Threadripper is the king. It's like driving a semi-truck when everyone else is in compact cars. Totally unnecessary for everyday life, but absolutely essential for those hauling massive workloads. Ryzen Mobile AMD didn't just stop at desktops. Ryzen also powers laptops and handhelds, thanks to Ryzen Mobile chips. These CPUs bring multiple cores, strong graphics, and great efficiency to devices that need to balance performance and battery life. For years, Intel dominated laptops, but Ryzen Mobile flipped the script by offering processors that not only last longer on a charge, but also deliver real performance. That means you can edit videos on your laptop, play games on medium settings, or join a Zoom meeting without your fan sounding like a jet engine. Ryzen Mobile is especially popular among college students, digital nomads, and professionals who need performance on the go. Imagine carrying a Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7. In your backpack strong enough for work, efficient enough not to die before class ends. It's not going to replace a full-blown desktop for serious gamers or video editors, but it's close enough that most people won't notice. Ryzen Mobile is the reason AMD laptops have become so competitive. It's like packing a mini Ryzen desktop in a thin, lightweight device you can carry anywhere. Ryzen APUs Finally, we've got Ryzen APUs, short for Accelerated Processing Units. These chips combine a Ryzen CPU with built-in Radeon graphics, which means you don't need a separate graphics card to game or edit videos. For budget builders, this is a total lifesaver. APUs are amazing for entry-level gaming, home theater PCs, and compact builds. You can run games like Fortnite, Minecraft, or even GTA V without needing to spend hundreds on a separate GPU. Sure, you won't be running ultra settings on the latest AAA titles, but the performance is shockingly good for the price. Think of Ryzen APUs as the Swiss army knife of CPUs. They don't dominate in one area, but they do a little bit of everything well. They're perfect for beginners building their first PC, families who want a living room gaming system, or anyone who just wants solid performance without extra cost. In a world where GPUs can cost more than an entire PC, Ryzen APUs are the budget hero proof that you don't need to spend big to have fun with games or video editing. That's it. Eight generations of Ryzen explained in plain English. From budget-friendly Ryzen 3 seconds to workstation-grade threadrippers, now you know exactly which Ryzen fits your needs without overspending or underestimating your build.